Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve the windmill cube. So this cube, as um, you may have already bought it, you already know that this is way different from the normal type of cubes. It doesn't go like normal, you know, RU or Prime, like all, all this. It goes differently. It's a shape-shifting cube, which means it shape-shifts. Yeah, okay, so look at this. This cube does not turn normally. It turns like this doesn't have a normal shape so it, it kind of turns like this set of just up so this is what we're going to be this is what i'm going to be teaching you how to solve today so uh before we get started there are some couple of things you need to know let's get into that anyway back to the video so we have a uh, not normal cube rotation remember so Instead of holding it like this and doing the move, you always, always, always want to do it like this. Because I have seen so many people have tried to do it this way and have completely messed up and don't even know what they're doing. So I recommend you're not going to be one of them. Uh, I'm going to be telling you to always use it on this side over here. So always, always, always use it on the side. And so let's get on with the cube rotation. It's just R, R prime, L prime, L f f prime and just no, just normal cube rotation now before i teach you how to learn you need to know how to solve a three by three at least using the beginner's method if you have not i will leave a link to the description to my series on how to solve the three by three hopefully you can learn and uh, then you can come back and start learning this cube okay so now that we know everything i'm just going to start scrambling the cube as you can see, everything is getting very weird. There we go, the cube is scrambled. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is doing the cross. As you can see, two of these are already aligned, so I will put them in the right shape. This is also aligned, so I'm gonna put them in the right shape. However, this is not aligned, so I'm going to be putting this back in the cross, and as you can see, these two are not aligned. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be holding out this not aligned thing in front of me, and I'm going to be doing F prime, L prime, and I'm just going to be aligning this to however it'll go. So once I'm done aligning, I'll just bring it back down and bring it back up. And as you can see, all are done. If you have more that are not in shape, you just have to do the same technique, it will not harm the other pieces, as long as you do it properly. So now that we're done with the cross, we're gonna be going onto the corners. As you can see, this is already uh, done, but that's never gonna happen in a real solve. If it does, that'll be good, but it's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna be finding a white and an orange first. And one thing that many people get confused by is as soon as they see this orange, you just start inserting this in. However, this is not the right because this, these are two different colors. You're going to move it to the other one. It's just essentially trial and error. Just, it's fine if you mess up the first time. So you're just going to do the normal R, U, R prime, U prime and insert this in. And you're going to be doing the same with that for all of these. So now when you're done with that step, you're going to be moving on to the middle layer. So I have an orange piece over here. I'm going to be moving it to the orange. And now this is where the tricky part comes in. Always hold it by the side, remember? And if it's holding on on the top like this, you're going to be moving it to the right of this, this corner. And then you're going to be doing the algorithm. However, there is a case where if it goes on the bottom like this, you're going to be holding on to the left of the corner and you're going to be doing the algorithm. Okay, so now we have two thirds of the whole cube solved and you're going to be moving on to the last layer. Okay, so first you're going to want to make a cross, uh, which you already know from three by three. You just need to do F froth algorithm. If you don't know that, I'm just going to be, there, there's the algorithm froth and you will get this cross shape and then after that you have to start aligning these edges so i see this 
is aligned, but the rest is not, except this one's aligned. You only want one to be aligned. You don't want the others, some something else to also be aligned. So the blue is aligned, but nothing else is aligned. So I'm going to be holding it on the side and do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And as you can see, what that has done is it won't work the first time. You may have to do it again. But essentially what happened is all of these edges are now aligned. You do not want to confuse these with these because this is not the edges. This is a corner. This is an edge. And so let's get on with the next step. Okay, so the next step is the orientation of the corners. Uh, as you can see in this situation, we only have one oriented and the others are not. You may even get a skip of the orientation and you can just skip to the last part. But since we do have one, this is the hardest part actually of the cube in my opinion so you want to keep this on the side if if it's uh for example if this one was aligned you keep it here like here if this one was aligned keep it like this if this one was aligned you keep it like this and this one was aligned you keep it like this but this one's aligned so we're going to keep it like this and do the algorithm for orientation i'll leave it right up here and as you can see Nothing really happens, so we're going to be doing it again till it's oriented. Make sure that you only do it to like hold this, and the oriented piece should be on the right. And so, as you can see now, we have everything oriented, and we're on the last step. So, we just have to uh, do this one and this one. So, we're going to be doing the algorithm. We're going to be holding this, this yellow odd on top, and we're going to be doing this algorithm. And now that the white is over here, you're going to move it to the next one that's unsolved. So if this one was unsolved, you move it over here. However, in this case, this one's unsolved. So you move it over here and finish off the algorithm. And there you have it. Your cube is solved. I hope you liked this video, everyone. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the like button so I'll know if you like this video. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.